farine and we are doing a simple dish today which is some steam cooked down cabbage a cooked down cabbage what you call this steamed cabbage steamed cabbage and we are gonna pair it with some corned beef the one in the tin but how I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna cook them separate because the little boy and I really like the cabbage too much and me don't want overpower you know I want him get him corned beef and thing. I really make him eat corned beef a lot because it's not really too healthy you know them can something about a Jamaican thing you see cabbage and corned beef are our food all right let me show you what I have as we start I have half a head of cabbage it's a medium sized cabbage not too big you know half a head right there that I've cut into strips. I have some julienne carrots. I have some onions, white onions I'm using. You can use yellow onions and this is half of an onion. I have some uh, orange sweet pepper or bell pepper and some green bell pepper here. And then over here I have some escallions or, or green onion. I'm gonna have some thyme, right? The process is simple. Put them in the pot with little oil steam the cabbage i'm going to show you in a minute and then we'll work on the corned beef ah i saw the thing said you had the belly in our in a foreign member i told you okay so here we have the pot on the stove and i'm just putting some olive oil this is um rosemary infused olive oil and yeah be careful with this and then i'm dropping in my onion in the pot to you know go on to a little bit so oh, I didn't remember that I needed to put in some garlic so I put in green now and with the cabbage you know really need a whole lot of oil you know how the cabbage have a spring water so you know really want the oil and then you might put you might put like a butter at the end right see Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you just want them onion to take some color and the garlic start to release some flavors and you're good to go. So I'm going to use some more oil. Just a little bit more. That look good? Yeah. Okay. And then I'm gonna add the carrots. Add the carrots, them take a little longer to cook than the cabbage. Add the pepper oil that me just add though. Mm -hmm. Oh, I add the wrong oil. But it still can work. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is, is almost like a stir fry because I don't really want the vegetable to cook out, cook out, you know? I like when my vegetable is bright and pretty. And here I'm going to add now the cabbage. And I have a little ginger on the side of the plate there. That I'm going to put some so in as well. Eh? How much cabbage is that? Just the, the half of a head of cabbage. Oh. Put a little ginger too. I like my flavors then when them come up a little bit. And the stove is on medium and we just have to make this spring some water and revisit this with the rest of the ingredients. And then I'm gonna start with the corned beef while this is steaming somewhat. Yeah, well, no, she said a Caribbean cabbage spring more water more readily than the American cabbage. Yeah, because the American cabbage grow, grow tight. It, 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 the, 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 the cabbage leaf then is so tight, you know? And tough. Think, yeah, and tough. You don't know if I, if I synthetic cabbage. <laughs> you know, but. Then I'll try ready. 
I never add salt and them little stuff there. Um, in a minute, I never add salt. We now use a lot of salt because um, we are going to use corned beef food. That's a Himalayan sea salt, the pink salt. Yeah? Show me Jamaica something. Yay, Jamaica win Olympics. Yay! <laughs> I think them put them on some races today, no? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken. And so we'll cover that a little bit, right? Well, like the pot in my face. Oh, I'm so sorry. We'll cover that pot there. Then we're going to put some olive oil in this. This is going to be regular olive oil. And this pot is not that, is not that hot. You know, it's been on for a little bit. So we'll just cut up some garlic in it. Normally I cut my garlic before hand folks, but you know. Why you cut it behind hand? And if I see my fingernail look like it dirty and a dirty, dirty, a bloodshot, I may lick up my hand like here. Yeah. Ain't nobody see no finger looking no way. Oh. I'm gonna like cut my garlic very fine. So bear with me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But they are struggle. Mm hmm? But they are struggle for eat though. But can't have the soap on low. Low, 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 low. They can't have something in my tongue. No. That's not right. They are your fans too. Remember when first time with Jackass? <laughs> <laughs> well, they're ready to cost me too. So. <laughs> One lady say you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. So Alright, so put some onion in the pot. Yeah. And as I said, I just want the, the, the onion get translucent a little bit to we'll add the rest of the stuff. Yeah? Switch over to the pot now. Mm -hmm. No water. Mm -hmm. No water now in the pot. No. Normally in Jamaica, our cabbage gets water a long time. Add a little bit of I'm going to add some water to this. This is the synthetic cabbage before. You make a rubber. What is steam? What is steam? It's steaming, it's steaming, it's steaming, it's steaming. So now I'm gonna add my green peppers, and my yellow pepper. I think it's orange. Oh, orange. I'm gonna use to them all for different colors up now. And then I put some of the, the green onions in there, not all of it. And I'm gonna also put. Pretty, so pretty. I'm gonna put some thyme. Oh, thyme, thyme. Lord, <laughs> help me, Jesus. <laughs> I put in two sprigs of thyme in that too. Butter. In addition, I have a little butter. In Jamaica, we call this best butter. Two cubes of butter. You have to put Cover this. Bad man. <laughs> no cooperation. That's two of them. None. That's okay, that's okay. I'm just gonna put the little ginger. I like ginger folks. Mm -hmm. You know? Garlic and ginger is our thing. Our thing. And I'm gonna put all of this in there. Carry on. And I'm gonna put this. This Bully is corned beef. beef. 
Yeah, but you know, the bully beef looking at the thing. Hey, yeah, you know, that brand I'm using, you know, uh, me not, me can't cover the brand, I don't have to show the brand, but yeah, I never have no grace. Um, Jamaican can't beef at the time. Yeah, if you're an American and somebody from the islands asks you if you have bully beef, this is what they're talking about. And bully beef, beef is just the name of the brand. You really? Know? Yeah, bully beef is the name of a brand. There was a brand called bully beef? Yeah. Way back before. in the day. Yeah, we tend to do that. We tend to call things by the name of their brand. Like we used to call all nail polish Q-Tex. Right, mm. and all diaper pumpers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All diaper we call pampers. No. Now these these type of corn beef nowadays corn beef is so different from back in the day, right? Now I'm just gonna leave this and make it do its thing. Black pepper thing and thing. put like a black pepper. Maybe like a garlic powder or something. Never um have a little bit of seasoning salt, but me mm -hmm. need a lot. I need no salt at all in this. It's not seasoning salt, you know. There's a difference between seasoned salt and seasoning salt. Oh, seasoning yeah. salt is what we call MSG. No seasoning salt around here. We have seasoned salt. Lar is seasoned, seasoned Without salt. Without MSG. So this, is, this is a garlic powder. Yeah. And a little smoke paprika. Just a little dash of smoked paprika. And uh, over here we have a little bit of black, black pepper. pepper. Black pepper almost done. I mean, I'm looking at the fridge for a country pepper because I normally freeze my country pepper, folks, in order for it to last. Mm -hmm. Longevity. Here it is. Scotch bonnet pepper. That one is a big door. Mm -hmm. And she don't like when I use a lot because she's afraid of the pepper burning. But you have to use pepper, 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 you see. <laughs> and when you freeze it, it also take out some of the, the flavor, the heat off of the pepper. I put some pepper in this thing here too. Turn down that stove for me. Front? Down. The front one? Mm-hmm. All right. Like when ketchup? we come back, we show the finishing. Cabbage is, is right at the place where I like it, you know, not too watery and just wilted enough to still maintain a, a certain vibrance. And we're going to turn this stove down. You want black pepper on this too? Not really. Okay. So, so here we have the finished product. Let me just use some ketchup. So, you know, just finish it up a little bit and yeah, it's ready. So, what I'm going to do now is plate it up nicely and make you see how it look when it plated. But simple, quick, delicious dinner. Yeah, for the two, for the, 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 the look of why I get him, 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 him stuff and me get my little healthy stuff. Yeah, and then you mix them. Now, normally Jamaicans cook the two things together. We just put the corned beef in, in the, the cabbage and, and macerate it just the same and everything crisp. But as I said, this time I'm doing it in two separate stages. So you can put it, mix it in a your plate. Yeah, and that's also something what Jamaicans do too. You understand? Here you have corned beef and cabbage. Yeah, corned beef and cabbage. Yeah, yeah, the belly. We soon come back. Yes, 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 this is it, the finished product, plated with a little bit of jasmine rice, you know it already, can't eat a plate of corned beef without liquor rice, so yeah, we have some jasmine rice and we paired it with an equal amount of the, the steamed cabbage, yes, and over here we have the corned beef, aka bully beef, alright? So yeah, this is just what is going on in Yardy Belly's kitchen today. And as usual, thanks for your um, your views and your likes and your subscriptions and the whole nine yard. And as usual, Yardy Belly says so. Until next time, peace.
We have something for the people then. Bye. <laughs> I'm just interested for eating food. That's why I'm still. Bye.